Are you sneaking into the video? Hello? Hi, sweetie. Hello? Hi, I love you. You're my favorite creature. Okay, can you... Oh, okay. You don't have to go anywhere. You can hang out in here. You can be in here. Hello. So, my videos take a while to edit. So I'm trying to make videos that are less difficult to edit. So I thought I'd do a little... What? So I thought I'd do a little update. If you've been following me on social media, you've probably seen me with like a heart monitor on and stuff, which probably seems a little spooky. It's weird to me, but hey, whatever. I have been having some health issues, possibly. I've been blacking out during my cardio workouts. Uh, I recently started doing Muay Thai kickboxing again, and I had this issue like two years ago when I tried to do it before I severed an artery in my foot, which is like a different story. I had issues with kind of fading out. I don't even think that it's full blackouts. I just lose vision uh, during my workout, and you know, I back off and it's kind of gets a little bit better and before I had chalked it up to just having asthma or maybe I wasn't eating enough or something like that. But I started going to this Muay Thai gym with some coworkers and I was having the same symptoms. During certain parts of the cardio, I would start fading out and I would need to take a minute and my coworkers said my eyes would be crossing and well, even if you're not even sparring in Muay Thai, like if you're just working with each other on punches in your hands, like that can get dangerous because I would start to fade out and then not be able to gauge where to block the hand or I would just, uh, you know, potentially get punched in the face a lot for no reason. Probably not the best time to be blacking out. So my coworkers kind of convinced me to go to the doctor and kind of get it sorted out before we had continued um, our memberships. I don't think it's going to be something related to my heart. Like I've already had EKGs coming out clean. I've already done a stress test and it was super easy. Stress tests on your heart. I thought it would be a lot more difficult because the description of the test is like, well, basically run until you can't. But really what they meant by that was walk on a treadmill hooked up to an EKG until your heart rate reaches a certain level and then you can stop. They increase the speed and um, incline like every couple of minutes and I didn't hit a jog until around 12 minutes and I only ran for like a minute which wasn't really very stressful. Like they said I did really well. My feet are falling asleep. I passed the stress test with flying colors. It was not hard. I can run a mile, so walking for 13 minutes isn't really that big of a deal for me. Another test I have to go through is wearing a heart monitor for two weeks. And I am now on my second heart, no, my I'm on my third heart monitor because I keep fucking breaking them. I think I know what I'm doing wrong this time. I think I keep sweating on it. So I'm going to figure out a different way to wear it so that maybe I won't sweat on it and break it. But I have really only worn it for like two solid days before it's actually broken. So I have two more weeks of this. It looks like a fucking Nintendo. Like it, it's really weird and silly. But hopefully it'll help provide enough data to make sure that nothing that is going on with me is heart related. I honestly think they're just going to be like, hey kid, you need to eat like three times your weight before you work out, or you need to drink like six times more water or whatever, like maybe my body's just not processing things. I don't know, hopefully this will help us figure it out. I am on APD medication almost every day aside from weekends because I have inattentive ADD and when my brain gets bored, I just kind of fall asleep. When dealing with my ADD, I, I, tr I can make a whole other video about this, but I try to lean away from medication, but I was doing everything I thought was right. Like I had a good job that I liked and I was trying to eat right and work out and sleep enough. I sleep a fuck ton. Like I was getting eight hours of sleep every night and I was still falling asleep behind the wheel in the middle of a conversation with my mom. So. I have been on ADD medication ever since, which if you don't know what ADD medication is, it is an amphetamine. They say that it's chemically identical to methamphetamine, and I am on that every day. So I don't know 
what that might do to my cardiovascular system or what it might do in a workout. I don't know. Uh, hopefully this will provide me with some insight. Maybe it actually causes problems. Go figure. Taking amphetamines every day is probably not good for you. But anywho, I just got my third kid in. Third heart monitor. Allison Chainmail. Breaker of heart monitors. Not hearts. Just heart monitors. So I thought I would make this video kind of an update and uh, me setting up my heart monitor here. I'm like a pro at it now because this is the third time. So a heart monitor is not as scary as it sounds. It's really just like a small portable EKG. Um, which if you've never had an EKG, you just put little stickers on your heart areas. The data from this transmitter sends to this phone and I have to keep it on me at all times and it basically just monitors my heart everywhere I go, everything I do. I take it off in the shower because electricity and water do not mix. And electricity and sweat also does not mix. So uh, that's why I'm on my number three. So I always really set this thing up and um, we'll figure this thing out. Yeah. Basically what I'll be doing is putting little stickies on my body, little electrodes and whatnot on my on me. So yeah. Really good though. I'm going to go ahead and call them and I will cut everything personal out if I have a call. If I will be personal out. Thank you for calling Life Watch. All agents are currently busy assisting other callers. Please remain on the line. So first you gotta clean off your All agents are currently busy assisting other callers. Please remain on the line and your call will be answered in the order it was received. Hopefully, I will have a new vlog up soon. Catch you on the flip side. Ooh, my eyes are dilated. 